Hello everyone, this is Running On Empty Food Review. Well, hello ladies and gentlemen, and everyone watching, this is Running On Empty Food Review. I am your host, the Report of the Week. Hope you're staying safe, hope you're uh, doing okay. And uh, here we are with another review. Uh, you know, venturing out a little bit, well, kind of went, picked it up. I actually just got in, but you know, this time I wasn't running around like running around like a mad lad as they say trying to set everything up because if you remember back to the uh pizza review that i did for the little caesars one which it was actually the cheeser cheeser one I, I messed up with the pronunciation there but you know i was going nuts i was you know going crazy like that but this time i'm better uh i kind of set up in advance so no need for urgent frolicking around and getting out of breath for nothing um but i, I did just get in i even have my mask that I had to wear when uh, when I went to pick it up. Uh, I recommend you wear one. Keep safe. Stay safe. It's up to you. But, you know, easy to wear. Just put it on like that. Well, there you go. Just like that. Easy. Keeps you safe. And uh, keeps other people safe, too. But not a joke anymore. Not a joke or anything. Just always wear one when I go out. Hope you're staying safe either way. And uh, into the review. Um, the Flamin' Hot... Doritos Locos Taco. Number one, I gotta give Taco Bell credit. Because I had a feeling, you know, different places are kind of doing different things right now. It's like, alright, some places are releasing new items, um, other places aren't. And I thought to myself, I bet Taco Bell, I bet they're gonna push through with something. Because, you know, Taco Bell, they're always pumping out some new item here, new item there. And that's what I like about them, though. Because Taco Bell, right, they're hit or miss. All right, some things it's like, wow, this is insanely good. Others, eh, not so much. But you just know, if they miss the mark on this one, you could count on them to release something uh, in the near future, and maybe that'll be a hit. So uh, I always I always like how they're always making new items, pumping out new stuff, and it's always affordable, too. Um, but this one, just by the sound of it, I have high hopes for. Now, who knows? I mean, maybe I'll be vomiting it up on camera, uh, for your viewing pleasure. I really hope that'll never happen. Uh, but, you know, I can't predict the future. I don't have a crystal ball. I just have Baja Blast. And uh, this is their Flamin' Hot Doritos Locos Taco. But it sounds good. Because I have always been a big fan of the Doritos Locos Tacos. Um, I've just really liked it. You know, where it's the hard shell taco. And the shell is, like, made out of that kind of Doritos-esque um, material. But it at least has that similar flavor. And this is supposed to be the spicy hot variant. So, of course, the shell is supposed to be like hot Doritos. Uh, then it also just has your standard seasoned beef, lettuce, and uh, cheddar cheese. Now, price for this, um, it's a pretty good deal. Because here's what it comes with, right? And they get you. But I'm fine with this because I, I like to get it with a drink anyway, you know? It's like, yeah, this is great. This is right up my alley. Uh, you get the taco, right? By itself, the taco is like a dollar eighty-five, um, two dollars, right around there, just for the taco. But then they say, hey, for two bucks, like let's say it's like a dollar eighty, a dollar ninety by itself, for two bucks, get this, get a medium drink, uh, good enough, and uh, you'd be smiling because you're supposed to be happy, and you got, I got, I got maybe a potential thumbnail there. I'm, I'll say it outright, um, but that's supposed to be one's. Uh, reaction that they hope to um, to get from you as well so uh, yeah drink taco combo good price and uh, hopefully it'll be good hopefully it'll taste good pretty self-explanatory and uh, again you know the volcano gods wrong one wrong i'm just i'm thinking about the volcano i wish they brought that one back i really do <laughs> um but the fire gods they stop for nothing and uh, we'll just see how, uh, if it sets my mouth on fire, right, to be all. That's why I wore the blue tie, and uh, he's racing to get these tacos, because he's hearing me talking about them. But uh, I wore the blue tie to kind of cool the flames, you know. Silly, I know. All right. Let's get into the good stuff. How about it? There it is. See, there's the seasoned beef. You can see the um, lettuce, the cheddar cheese. Comes in its own little shell, right? Doritos Locos Tacos. Taco Bell. Right there. And there it is, kind of peeking out. It's saying, hey, how, hey, what's up? You know, kind of going like this. What's up? 
right? So it, that's what it does. That's how the tacos communicate, actually. A lot of people don't know that, but they have, you know, limited vocabulary, but they kind of tilt up like that as a greeting, usually. There I am with it. Yeah. yeah, you can see, though. Looks pretty good. Looks pretty good. It's like a good hard shell taco. Okay. We're just going to get into it. And um, with that, uh, on one last note, before we just get right into the review, back in its little holder, back in the taco cradle, as I call it, um, we'll see what we do with this consumption sequence, because I got emergency dental work done on Monday. And uh, it was tough to find a dentist in this pandemic, but found a really good one. There's an issue with that tooth right there, one of the front ones, right in the front. Had to get a root canal and a crown, and I have the temporary crown on. And we'll just see what, um, we'll just see what happens. I just want to be careful with it, because I don't want to, you know, destroy it and do whatever. But, uh, smooth procedure, feeling much better. And, um, with that, we'll take a couple bites, and if I have to pause it and whatever, I'll do that. But we'll take a couple bites for the camera. All right, flaming Hot Doritos Locos Taco from Taco Bell. Looking forward to it, going in. Soft enough, I, I could eat it without pausing it. Yeah. If that's all that you needed to know, you know, double thumbs up, kind of, oh no, it's just a one thumb up, with then a forward twice, like that, you know? So you know what that means. <laughs> I just, I, I don't know, that really got me. It's like I do that in every video, and I never do. <laughs> yeah, well, <laughs> yeah, who knows, there's a bad one. Mm -hmm. This is great. I'm a big I'm a big fan of it. I got to say. Mhm. Mm and look. I'm usually a soft taco person. That's just how I've always been. I always just get like the soft shell tacos from, you know, the Taco the Bell. This is fantastic. And a lot of the time with Taco Bell, I could, I could be very finicky. I could be like, no, I have this issue, I have... No, I mean, I am a fan of this one. I've always liked the Doritos Locos Tacos. And this is, this is really good, because I like that spiciness. Now, if you like the spicy stuff, uh, I think you're going to like this. And if you like the Doritos Locos Tacos, I think you're going to like this. Because, right, the shell is like... It always hits the mark. Number one, it's got that right amount of crunch to it. And it's comfortable in so much that, of course, it gives that little bit of a crunchiness, that stability. But I can eat that with a temporary crown on right now, and it didn't shatter, it didn't break, I'm not in excruciating pain. It's fine. Um, the seasoned beef is great. Good amount of it. Very flavorful. Like the little coolness that the lettuce has. Um, the cheddar cheese always just adds that little bit of, of uh, cheesiness. You know... The cheese sauce, of course, is always cheese here, but still, the little strips, still, uh, it, it makes its mark, you know? But the best part, of course, it's in, it's all in the shell. That's the thing. It's not like there's jalapenos on it or a special sauce. The spiciness and the heat is all in the shell. That's why it's red, and it's not just, like, for show. I mean, it's really spicy. Not that this is, like, you know, gonna make me go and you know, run over to the body of water there and start, you know, dunking my head in uh, full-blown because my mouth is on fire or something. You know, it's not at that level right now. But it's great. It's like you have that blend where it really is like, you know, the spicy uh, Doritos. It's like Doritos chips, right? It always has that flavor down. It's just so similar to those Doritos chips. Still has that little bit of, like, 
not quite cheesiness, but it's just got this spice to it that's just baked in in every bite. Um, there's also like this little spicy powder on the outside of the shell as well. So not only is it kind of embedded in, but there's also that extra spiciness on the outside. And uh, the heat, it's not overwhelming, but it's present. And it's just something that you get in every single bite, because literally, I mean, it is in the shell. So I think it's pretty simple. It's a pretty simple item. We're going to pour some fire sauce on it now just to spice it up a little bit. But I'd say it's a pretty simple item. Sometimes, though, I say simplicity is key. Sometimes places that go over the top with this sauce and this ingredient and kind of make it this grandiose item, that it doesn't need to be that, you know? Sometimes you take a simple thing, what, just four components, the cheese, the lettuce, the beef, and the shell, and it's great. No, I don't have any complaints with it. I mean, I'm, I'm very satisfied with this item, to tell you the truth. And I like how the lettuce balances it out a little bit with a little bit of coolness in it, you know? And of course, you could always quench the quell the flames with some drink if you want. Not obligated to ever get a drink with it, but it's a good combo. And the fire sauce just adds that little bit of extra spice, you know? Now I kind of feel it as like a lingering spiciness with the extra sauce, so... There's things you can do to even bring it up to the next level if you want. Um, but overall, I'm very satisfied with the Flamin' Hot Doritos Locos Taco. I like it. I've always liked the Doritos Locos Tacos, and, uh, I'm, I'm really, I'm proud, I'm proud of Taco Bell. They did good. No, they, they really did. Uh, I like that they brought this item out. It tastes good. It's really what I was kind of looking for. So, uh, out of 10, I'm gonna give it a 9 out of 10. No, because for Taco Bell, I mean, they did a good job. Um, I really, I really like it. So, go out and get it if you want. Um, or you could stay in and get it. Uh, I know they have Grubhub now that does the delivery, too, so if you kind of want to do the social distancing and stuff, um, then get it delivered. Bring it right to your doorstep, too, and, uh, you're good to go. So with that, for two dollars, I think it's, uh, I think it's good. I like it. And, uh, that's all that I have for you, ladies and gentlemen. I'm your host, the Report of the Week. Today's review is for the Flamin' Hot Doritos Locos Taco from Taco Bell. Thank you, and take care. Please be safe, and I'll see you in a couple days with another video.